Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com, and it's kind of funny, I put on my about page that I'm not an expert in DSLR video at all, but I still get a lot of technical questions. And one that keeps coming in a lot, and I don't mind answering them, it's, it's fun to answer them. If I don't know what it is, I'll try to find out. But one I get a lot is about um, people having shutter problems with their preview window, or being very choppy, or the screen just goes black. Well, I've got a pretty beefy brand new computer I got about a month ago and it does pretty well. I mean there's slight choppiness but not that much so um, most of this is created by the the .mov file that the Canon camera creates and what happens is it's really hard to do in real time taking the video clip in the preview window and decompressing it and allowing it to be edited at the same time and then there's a whole bunch of stuff going on that I don't even understand, but it's trying to decompress and do a whole bunch of stuff so you can edit the, the file. It's not just simply playing it back. So most of my videos have been pretty easy to create because I've only had one video track, but I've got a new project coming up that has many, many video tracks, and I'm going to need to what I call pre-render. This is the only one I could find that was free. It's called Squared 5. It's for both the Mac and Windows. So you go down here and you pick the Windows version, you extract it, and you put it into a place that you want to keep your um, executable file, and then you launch the executable, and since I created a shortcut, here I'm going to launch the executable. Also, another thing you're going to need to do is download this Avid QuickTime Kodak um, down here. Um, because my system, Windows 7, didn't come pre-installed with this codec, so you're going to need this one as well. So download that, run it, and it'll work. First time I did it, it didn't work. Okay, the instructions that I'm going off of, I found off of John Mueller on Vimeo, and he gave the instructions, which I'll put in my blog post as well. Um, and I'll put a link to the discussion that John talks about, and it worked great the way he dis described it. So basically what you do, um, my instructions is going to be a little bit different than his because I'm going to do a batch. So what you do is you go list, batch, because I want to do a whole bunch at once. And then I'm going to add files. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and we'll add this one and this one. Say open. And then you say export to QuickTime. And then you say OK. And then for destination, I'm just going to choose my video drive. All right, first of all, you got to go to the Kodak, which is this Avid DNX HD Kodak. Then you go to Options. And then you choose RGB Levels. And this is a, um, as you can see, there's a, a bug right here. And then this is also a bug. You click on right there, and you'll get a drop down menu. And then what I chose, um, and then John Mueller talks about as well, I guess he's done all the testing, I haven't done any testing on this yet, is he chose um, 1080p, 24, NDX, HD, 175, 10-bit. He said play around with some of the 8-bits as well. So I choose that, and then I say OK. And we crank it up to full quality, 100%, to deselect the interlacing scaling, and then say go to batch and since I've already done these um, I'm gonna say don't overwrite yeah let's go ahead and overwrite so you can see what happens and then you've got the waiting waiting well it's not doing anything until you hit the go button I made that mistake so you press go and through the magic of video I am going to speed up this process okay now that they're done I just get out of here I can get out of here. I'm in Sony Vegas. So I'll say import my media. Go down to the bottom where I put these two. Say open. Drag them on the timeline. And there you go. So I'm going to hit play. And normally this would be very choppy. Yeah, let me. Normally this you would see this very choppy. I don't know with the screen capture if you can actually see this, but it's uh it's silky smooth. Um, you can see all my hand is is moving. There's no shutter at all. 
sorry, it's a little out of focus in and out of here, but um, that pretty much, here's that clip. Here, let me go to this clip. This is the second clip, and that's pretty much it. All right, and if you guys haven't seen my other video, the um, AGC video, uh, definitely check it out, and we'll see you next time. All right, thanks. Bye.